Yes, your boy AG Corner Man Boxing. I'm here with the one and only Christina Cruz. Lovely Christina Cruz <laughs> making her second uh, professional appearance here at Madison Square Garden. First of all, thank you for your time. How you feeling? I feel good. I feel ready. I just, I'm so anxious to get in there already. I want to just show everybody what I can do. All right. So the last time we spoke, you was going into your pro, uh, pro, pro debut. Yes. How was that experience like? It you? was very different for me since, you know, transitioning from the amateurs. Um, very professional, which is nice. Um, you have everyone doing stuff for, for you. So that was nice as well. But it was a very very fast-paced environment, and uh, I wouldn't say overwhelming, but it was it was not it wasn't what I was expected, but it was good. Mm. Is there anything you learned in that ring as far as fighting as a professional? Um, uh, of course, I, I hmm, trying to think if I have learned anything like <laughs> in my boxing skill or just yeah, as the far as being experience. yeah, just as far as your boxing like technical. Stuff. Yeah. Um, so we've been working on specific things for this fight. We looked at how I fought the last fight. In the last fight, I still displayed some of my amateur skill with boxing and moving and getting points. Mm -hmm. um, so we went back to the gym and we're, we're sitting more on our punches, going more to the body. Um, my last fight, I didn't go to the body as much as I wanted to, mm. but I'm looking to do that this fight. Yeah, I saw during the media workout, yeah, so you was throwing some good uh, left yeah. hooks to the body. Yeah, I have a really great left hook to the body. Whenever I throw it, I do hurt people. <laughs> I just got to get reminded to throw it. <laughs> right. So now you're going into the second fight. What do you know? Do you know much about your opponent? or? Yes, I do. She actually was an amateur around the same time I was. Wow. So um, we're very familiar with each other. We never got to fight each other, but we fought in the same tournaments. And we did spar in the fact. Mm. Um, it was my, we might have sparred one or twice, one or two times. Wow! I felt like I had the upper hand. Wow! What do you feel you have to do in this fight to come out successful? Um, just make sure to win and do whatever it takes to to, to win. You right. know, um, not somebody who's going to go predict it yet, but um, I'm still getting used to all this. Right, but right. I'm just looking to win whichever way I can. Right now, you, you you fought twice in your own backyard. You know how special is it for you to showcase your skill your skills in front of your, your fans? I feel like I'm the luckiest person in the world. Who gets to fight their pro debut <laughs> and then their second fight in Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Um, it's just been a blessing. I've been lucky to have the team that I have, um, Javier Centeno, and, and my manager Peter Khan has been getting me these great fights, and I'm, I just feel very lucky. Right. How's how's your experience been working with Javier Centeno? Because you guys got a lot of talent over there. I believe. In Sweatbox, yes. Uh, with Xander Zayas, you got Frank Gore over there now. Yes, yes. Um, it's been great. Um, it's always fun switching up your training, right? Um, he he's very specific on what he works on, and and I love that. You know, I love actually working on a specific punch or a specific combination mm. over and over again. Um, that consistency is what makes you perform how you want to perform you know right. so it's been great training there the energy in the gym is amazing i have the best teammates we have yeah. so much fun training it looks fun i watch as I'm a fan telling you, <laughs> I, you know i've trained everywhere you know i've been boxing for 17 years and i've trained in all different places and the energy in our gym everyone's just cheering each other on no one's secretly hating everybody just wants everyone to win and that's the best feeling in the world Mm -hmm. So as far as a pro, you know, how are you trying to pace yourself? How soon do you see yourself maybe being ready to compete for a title? So actually this fight, we were trying to push it for um, a title. Wow. It wasn't, I'm not sure if it was a world title. It might have been like a North American right, title. Right, right. Um, so it was supposed to be eight rounds, but we didn't get it approved. I didn't think we had enough time to. Mm. So we're settling for a six round fight. Um, but I see all that coming soon, uh, moving at a faster pace than what the men do. Um, right. And then being that I have that huge amateur background, I don't need to move such on a slow pace. I don't feel like I need to be built up, you know? Right, I, right. I can go in there now with the best. Yeah, I noticed it was a six-rounder. That's yeah. why I was asking. Yeah. But yeah, Chad, I mean, I appreciate your time. What message do you have for all your supporters, everybody coming out Saturday night? Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me throughout the years. And on Saturday, you're going to see... You're going to see an amazing fight. You're going to see me do my thing. You're going to see me show my skill, and I'm just ready to get that W. Right. Where can we follow you, for those that don't know, for whatever for reason? For those that don't know, we uh, you can find me on Instagram at Christina Cruz Box and on Twitter at Christina Box. All right. Thank you for your time, Chan. Wish you the best Saturday night and the rest Thank of your you. career. Thank you. Thank you.